Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom, fellow E Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Um, Just gonna kick it off with a uh, Divine Masculine Situation. And uh, I'm gonna follow this with Twin Flame and Union, Reunion and Recognition, New Weeks, New Energies. Um, it's gonna be crazy. Amount of content coming out in the next four days to stay in tune. We're definitely doing astrology again for another bi weekly. Definitely kicking that off with Leo. So, no further ado, let's get the spread going and see what's cracking. <clears throat> Got Divine Masculine's Mystery Madness or Subconscious Energy up top. We have his conscious or direct energy at the bottom. Overall energy, which is fairly important. The bottom line energy, which is very important. And let's get with the business. So First thing we got here, we have two sevens. Two sevens in my book is seven up. That's good shit. Two eights, it's like getting eight up. It's kind of bad. Three red cards is a warning. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the signs I got in my deck here. But two sevens means good. It's like heads up, seven up. You know, you're playing heads up, seven up, and you know who put your thumb down. <laughs> It's good that you're playing heads up seven up. That's that's a good thing. And then you're gonna win heads up seven up. So that's another good thing. So it's just like bow bow. <laughs> First seven we have is seven of cups, which is being all that in a bag of chips. Six of cups is the sauce card. You know, that's just being all that. That's your chi. That's your individuality. That's your that's your style. You know, so essence, so character, show. Inner you, your true self, so to speak, right? You got to access your true self. You got to access the person that's really you. Not at all times. I probably wouldn't be safe doing that. But try to access it as much as you can while doing things for the kingdom or doing things for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because um, the next seven after that is the seven of swords. That's secrets, that's darkness coming to the light. It's the Decepticon. It's just you keeping it 100 with yourself, which is what I think it is in this case. This is somebody keeping it 100 with you, or are you keeping it 100 with somebody else? The reason why you gotta find that all, all that in a bag of chips in this is because, like I say, this is what sets you apart from the next human being. We all perfect. We all all that, no matter how many toes, how many teeth, how much hair, what you, what you look like, you know, all that shit don't mean shit. You know what I mean? You can be deformed and still perfect in the eyes of God, in the eyes of people, like divine people. That's 28% of the world who going to acknowledge you for who you really are, what's inside. Not what the fuck we looking at right here, because if we just went off first glances, I mean, the whole world would be lost. It is, because it's more karmics and, and the wines in this bitch but look this is what you are inside you know how you get when i don't know you in a hospital visiting somebody you're on the streets of motherfucking where and you just see a real unique person could be a child teenager adult senior you know what i'm talking about okay things you've never seen before for example like the first time i saw a black midget I was like seven years old. I didn't think they existed. Same midgets all the time. Just never seen a black one, like an African American one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I seen one. My auntie, uh, ex husband, brother. He was like a dwarf. You know what I'm saying? I forgot his name, man. But uh, he passed years ago, man. I was a Bigfoot little brother. His, bro his big brother name was Bigfoot. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that must have been Littlefoot. <laughs> Littlefoot was cool as hell. He had a name. My grandpa used to call him something. I, I don't remember it, but I, I can think of him right now. He was just a mythical person. He was like, when I, I grew up in church, so he was like a deacon. You know what I mean? So I used to always be a kid just looking at him like, it was to this dude. I know he got some type of power or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just looking too 
different. But that's like minor. Then I remember I seen my, a person who had a cleft lip in high school. I seen the first cleft lip when I was a freshman in high school. This kid named Jeremy Diamond. He's Asian. Cool as fuck. In his own little way. People didn't fuck with him, but I fuck with him. Because I can see... Like, I know how to see what's inside people. And this is what the fuck you need to learn how to do too, Maslin. Because this is really what it's all about. You go off physicalities and that shit's dead. It's what's inside. I bet Jeremy doing good. Or well, at least better than a lot of motherfuckers we went to high school with. But he was just different. A lot of people were appalled by his presence because of the cleft lip and shit. Me, it was just like, I don't see it. I see it, but I don't see it. I'm not going to let that take away from you, bro. It's what's inside that counts. You know what I'm saying? That just shows you the type of person I am and the type of person the rest of the world is. Seen the post on Facebook. Overall energy is just going to base it off that. It was some real shit. It said, it's a big difference between people who were raised from love, like who were raised how to love and raised to love, like myself, like most divines. Then you got people who were raised how to survive and how to survive. It's a big difference. Survivors and, 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 and lovers. <coughs> Givers and takers. Divine and karmics. Two types of people on this planet. You either divine or you karma. That's an argument I could sit here and, 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 and really spew at you for a long time. I'm going to smoke a cigarette on this shit too. But let's just keep it real. Bill Holyfield. When it's time to ride, pick a side. When I be saying that shit, I've been saying that shit for three years. When it's time to ride, pick a side. You either divine or karma. You know you either divine or karma too. Y'all ain't low ass kids. This shit is for 18 and over, right? Okay. You can say you don't know what a divine look like. Once again, we ain't going off looks here. <laughs> divine don't have a look. You goofs. Carmix ain't got a look. Hey, they got an energy though. And that's the secret. Hey, when it's time to ride, pick a side. You either divine and karmic. And these karmics know they karmic. Front is divines, wolf and sheep clothing. That's what they do. They're about survival. It's an aspect of love they can't touch. It's an aspect of divinity they can't understand. It's an aspect of God they can't comprehend. Maybe his son, Christ, maybe. You know what I mean? It's a lot of flodgers out here. It's a lot of death, destruction, mayhem, and agendas. That's what the world is. It's pretty filthy. So if you still got this beautiful big blue ball of world that the fucking government was painting in like the 70s and shit when niggas first went to the moon and shit like like that shit dead. This whole American dream, all that shit, like that shit's dead. This is it's dead. You will know if you really if you know, you know. Okay? Only people who know know what I'm talking about. People who don't know, y'all better do the opposite of much real quick. And quit fronting like you divines. Cause like I say, all y'all doing is fucking the divines up. At the end of the day, there's two types of people. You got people who manifest things in life, and you got people who are left with things in life. I told you, it's a whole little rant I gave uh, about selfishness and selflessness. <coughs> World got it fucked up to where they think people who want more out of life. Like, what's a ten of pentacles? Bottom line, this is more important than anything. Ten of Pentacles, that's 100%. That's an A+. 50%. That's a Five of Pentacles. That's a Dark Knight of the Soul. That's failure. This is failure, and this is manifesting the life that you want. This is the life that you want, and you have it. The things you wanted in your life, them being in it, incomplete, and you're all set to go to divine realms with this, because what's the step after the Ten of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles. What's the Knights, Queens, Kings of Things? Divine realms. A divine person can appreciate everything and all that they have in their life and still want more. That's not selfish. That's selfless. There was a lot of time, energy, and resources that went into this manifestation that just happened. Faith without works is dead. Divines know that. We're not just taking dice out here and just shooting in that life. You know what I'm saying? And just living for the moment. Just surviving and just, I don't know, hoping by the grace of God or by some luck or some shit, a miracle will drop in your motherfucking lap. That don't happen with money. How is that going to happen with miracles? 
<laughs> it's the difference between people who have nothing and people who have everything. But it's like, usually the people who have nothing got everything. And usually the people who got everything ain't got shit. A common problem that's been in the world for centuries. Niggas still ain't figured it out. <laughs> it's, oh my God, it's your life. Pinnacles should be your life. You pick another card. You got another red card. It's a warning. Double card too. Ten came out first. It's two types of people in the world. You got divines and you got karma. Divines move kind of how I do. I'm not a rich man, but I got everything I ever wanted. Besides kids and a wife, plus more. <laughs> I got everything plus more, except a few things. But you know what I mean? It's all about timing. Just like this channel blowing the fuck up. So we can get off these karmic ass vibes that's dominating this whole little field here. <laughs> you know, everything happens in due time. In my heart, in my mind, the way I move, actions, the shit I'm manifesting, Ten of Pentacles, it comes from an energy of me having everything. You know. I got a life that's an Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a life that's 80%. That's having something. It's also having something to lose. If you got something to lose, that means somebody can take it. Told you. You the divine or you karmics. Alright? You sound <laughs> right, pick a side. At the end of the day, your life is gonna tell what type of person you are. If you have everything, you rich, wealthy, got children, you got mansions, you got all this shit. But you sit in that motherfucker feeling like a failure. You sit in that bitch feeling like you have nothing. I could go over examples, you know. Robin Williams, a few other people and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's about the things in your life. Yeah, you can have all this shit, but once again, it's two types of people. You have people who appreciate everything when they have nothing, and you have people who have everything and think they ain't got shit. Who you think is the divine, who you think is the karmic. If you feel like you have nothing when you have everything, I'm telling you, that's a downward spiral and you're just going to keep going down. If you feel like the pinnacles in your life ain't shit, you're going to start feeling like your personal pinnacle ain't shit. You are a pinnacle, a person, place, or a thing. If you feel like you're losing everything when you're not. <laughs> it's all in mind at the end of the day, but here's a warning. Like, the devil plays tricks on folks. The devil have motherfuckers thinking, hey, the devil more realer than Christ out here. The devil more realer than God. Like I say, it's just the third dimension. This is the devil's realm. That's why he here with your bitch ass. <laughs> So he can come to your aid quicker. That's why he can probably hear you quicker. Yeah, you know I mean, and probably get some shit done for you quicker because he around. Like I say, you go to God. God don't come to you, fam. We ascend to. We go up. What's up? God is what's up, right? I. Right. There's only one right way. That's up. That's the direction of God. When we need to fuck with God, we gotta go fuck with God. We gotta go see God. We gotta put in thoughts, decisions, actions, and you know, switch a few behavior, do do a few things to get closer to God. <coughs> And if you ain't going where God at, you're going away from God. If you're going away from God, well, you in the world. you in the third dimension, going in circles. You know? Pinnacle, man. This is all about pinnacle accountability, Master. You're going to have to know what's real and what's not. You're going to have to appreciate what you have. Even if you think you don't have anything, you have everything. That's the, if you had a divine mindset, you would know you would have everything. Even if you had nothing. It's been times you had nothing and felt like you had everything. That's when you was closer to God. Just because your pinnacles is stacked a little better and shit's lined up. And then, you know what I mean? It's just unappreciation. Look where you've been. You've been in situations where you and God have been like this. Step away from God a little bit, thinking you handling your shit independently, but you really see exactly what it is. And what it ain't. And what the fuck is going to be at the end of the day. You don't control your life. God do. You don't run shit. God do. The feminine have been telling you that for years. That's something you finally comprehended. It's either A, taking the world to kind of, you know, take a few turns for you to kind of get on path, or it's just something you're becoming aware of. Either way, you got to warn. The devil's out here. He's always out here. <laughs> it's a part of your life. And whatever this devil is, which could be addictions, 
people chaining you, people you chain to, to be a bad contract you stuck with, you know, a bad partnership, bad marriage, you know. It's like a ball and chain that you stuck with. That's what's making your life feel like a five when it's really a ten. But that's what the devil does too. He puts you under the guise that you have nothing when you have everything. The devil rules the and Satan are three different people from three different places with three different agendas. It'd be kind of time masculine to try to really at least see why that is. And from that, you'll find a lot more answers. Let's get into this reading. So. Coming into this day, masculine, and your subconscious or mystery madness, you got the Ace of Swords. This is strength, power, authority, you know, courage, valor, strength, A for anything you need to A for ascend, A for anything you need to A for acquire or A for attain in life. It's already here for you. You just got to get your ass up and get it. This is the loading chamber in the matrix. The ace of swords is. Think of the loading chamber in the matrix. Anything they needed, they got. Guns, a lot of them. <sighs> oh, boom of guns pop out. That's how God works. Not exactly how God works, but that's how God be working. You know what I'm saying? A for anything you need is already here. The people you need in your life are already here. The pinnacles you need in place to make things happen are already here. The love that you wanted in life is already here. The person that you like, anything, A for anything you ever needed is already here. It'd be best to start getting in tune with that. Oh, I can't see it. I can't find it. I don't see nobody. We'll keep going up. You go up enough, you'll be able to see every fucking thing. More smoke. Nine of Cups. This is a dream come true. Or wish granted. And final smoke on that. This is all subconscious. Not you consciously, but you know, subconsciously. It's like you don't get a wish granted or a dream come true. That's kind of gonna help you define you. I'm saying this shit two more times. Ascending high. You're gonna really get a bird's eye view of your whole demo, your whole life, your whole situation here. And you're going to see your dream come true or your wish you wanted granted in the distance. You didn't even know it was there. I told you, all you got to do is ascend and you'll get everything. By ascending, you're starting to see exactly what your dream come true and your wish granted was. That's just one thing you see. Another thing you see is how you ace a cup. And this is self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-help, self-anything, self-attainment, self-identification, self-realization. You know what I'm saying? It's so like in the midst of getting a wish granted or a dream come true that you can finally see now. You finally see an answer, A for answers to lifelong questions. You wanted to go in the right direction in life. You're finally doing that. You wanted to find who you were in life. You're finally starting to see who that person is. Consciously, you come to the situation with a two of swords. This is pussyfooting around or indecisiveness. Consciously, you mentally indecisive or you pussyfooting around. I'm saying this shit for a few weeks or months, maybe. The reason why you mentally are in limbo is because you're really trying to grasp. This whole Queen of Cups energy that surrounds you. Queen of Cups, what's that in my deck? That's the X-Men card or the Psychic card. What's a Psychic? It's trusting your own intuition. Trusting in your own intuition. I'm going to say that shit one more time. Trusting. Trust. Trusting in your own intuition. That's what a Psychic is. This is also dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities. You know Fantasies. Gonna have to trust your intuition on this. You know which way you need to go, the way you was going before. It's the difference between a divine and a karmic too. A divine is gonna go the right way automatically. It's built in as which way we know we need to go. We're not gonna sit here and act like we're Ray Charles to the path that we've been on. It's good to take breaks. 
I mean, if you're going to go off path, make, like I said, it's like sneaking out your old house to go to a party or, you know what I mean? You stay out all night knowing you finna get a whooping in the morning. If you're going to do it, do it big. Fuck you talking about? That's what my twin sister taught me when we was youngest. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I knew she was gonna get in trouble. Anything her ass did, whether that was still in the car, staying out all night, staying and going for days. I'm like, bitch, you crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mom, no. Mom, no, I know where you at. So you really get me persecuted for your ass being stupid, but you'll never give a fuck about that. She had a blind masculine, I'm gonna mind feminine. That's something my twin sister used to always do. Throw me under the bus or crucify my ass. Cause like I said, she she was doing a lot of shit. And she a girl. And that's what make it even worse. You know what I'm saying? And I'm her fucking twin. Of course I know where she at of all times. It ain't like that now. I don't know what the fuck she been on. <laughs> Lately. But back then it was just like. She always told me where she was going. She always told me what she was doing. But she did it. Mom was tough on her ass. But I mean. that's that's. It's just a, it's just a position I assumed a long time ago. You know, taking a rap. For other divines. Really it ain't other. It's just one particular one. But. I know I should say this. <laughs> Masculine. In the midst of you pussyfooting around. Trying to figure out this whole. Divine. Demo here. Um, you've done a lot of things. That you wanted to do. As of ours to a lot of things. You sh needed to do and should have did. And it came with a few consequences. A few consequences you weren't aware of. Because you're like my twin sister, and it's like she does her thing. I want her to be careful. I also want her to liberate herself and find herself because she obviously trying to find herself and do something. I ass out here just being managed. But you know, I didn't mind getting in trouble. <laughs> in my head, she'll do the same shit for me. But thinking back in hindsight, they always did what she wanted to do. <laughs> they didn't really look out for me in ways I looked out for her. Because in her head, like I said, it's just... The fact that I wasn't doing it how she was doing it made whatever the fuck I was doing irrelevant anyway. What's the king of wands or the divine masculine? It's the king of actions. But yeah, just do it like Nike. Your divine masculine just does it like Nike. My twin sister is not my... Divine masculine. I have a divine masculine. You know, he's a whole person himself. But you know, it's about divine accountability. And it wasn't my sister got over, and I told her ass like, "Yo, you have really no idea how much I got my ass fucked up." And your whole trying to find yourself process. You know what I'm saying? Because you forget we twins. You forget we really supposed to be. You know what I mean? At the same place at the same time. So when I pop up without you or niggas is asking Daniel where you at and I'm like trying to, you know, it's like, come on. She ain't give me no incentive or nothing. I remember I used to be, <laughs> I used to be on tour. I used to be a rapper and shit. I used to get paid opening up for like celebrities and shit. So I remember when I was on my little Wu-Tang circuit. You know what I'm saying? I was opening up for Wu-Tang and shit. And uh, I used to give us like 40% of my money. Trying to sneak into some parties and shit like that, but you know, I always had a sitter. Feminine, you always keep the sitter. And that's just you. Don't change that. Keep doing that, because all that shit going to play a vital part in the future. Moving on. Masculine, you in regards to the feminine energy and your mystery madness or your subconscious, you still got this Eight of Swords. This Eight of Swords been very prevalent. Eight of Swords in my deck is a self imposed prison. False ideology, a long-standing belief that needs to be eradicated. This is putting hard, uh, walls up against your heart and mind to keep people from getting in. But it also keeps shit from getting out, so you really trap yourself in it. This is a false sense of entitlement. Thinking somebody owe you some shit or thinking shit should be a certain way when it don't work like that. You know what I mean? This is a false sense of environment. Like, you really don't know where the fuck you at right now. You really don't know who you dealing with. You really don't know what situation you in nor how to handle it so it's really just like you digging yourself a deeper hole not knowing not knowing what's really going on in the world what's really going on in your life what's really going on in the spiritual realm I told you you either karmic or divine if you divine we in a whole other we in different realms 
not earthly realms. We in the fourth, fifth dimension and up. We out of here. We ain't. It's hell of realms and back doors and fucking dungeons up in this motherfucking third dimension. We ain't talking about this shit. Only karmics go through back doors and dungeon alleys and basements and shit. You know, you've been in a cage. And the cage is the same cage this devil been in since, nigga, since the fall of man. That's being trapped in the third dimension. You need to get free. See, you used to be able to get in and to and from the world in any manner that you wanted to. In the case of, of several years, several months, several weeks maybe. Okay, it's like you trapped in the world mentally. Why? Wow. You're mentally trapped. <laughs> in a world you can break free from at any time. We got the Queen of Wands here. This is your Divine Feminine. Reason why you in a prison is because it's like <laughs> you forgot how to get out. Or you've been void of your feminine for so long, it felt like you in a prison when you ain't. The feminine here for a reason. The feminine really holds the key to you breaking free here. Queen of Swords is clarifying the Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Swords? That's a Lucy Lou card. Like I said, it's like Lucy Lou in any motherfucking movie. She's kick ass. She ain't playing no games. She's serious. You know how she coming. You know how she bumming. You know what I mean? It's like her and Kill Bill. You know exactly how Lucy Lou was coming. She was not fucking around with nobody. Or nothing. Okay? She was having her business. That whole motherfucking movie. She was right. She wasn't uh, pussyfooting around. She wasn't pivoting. She wasn't scared of shit. Her ass was, man. From the time she appeared in the movie, nigga, to she got the time she got killed, you feel me? Lucy Lou was doing her thing and kill Bill, nigga. Like that's how we need to move out here, like motherfucking soldier. <laughs> but the key to breaking free from this mental prison is really just in the way you move. What are actions? Queen of actions. You the queen of actions, right? Divine feminine. Okay. What are actions? Behavior. Shit you doing. Shit you've done. Not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Just a little change in behavior. Change in actions. A change in current movement masculine is going to break you free from this mental prison you think you can't get out of. Then once you break free, you stay free. Queen of Swords. Once again, that's a divine realm. That's a divine card. This could be also stepping into your feminine side, divine masculine. What you need to do subconsciously on your mystery madness to break free of this mental prison you in is stepping into your feminine side. Or fuck with your feminine. Whatever it is that involves feminine energy, you can fuck with the Trinity, your divine feminine, just hit her up. It could be a she, she could be a he, you know how we rocking. So she can help you assist with your problems. She helped everybody else with their problems and their issues. She helped herself with her problems and her issues. Why she can't help you? Why he can't help you? This is also stepping into your feminine side. You seeing where you really fucked up at. You seeing what, what you really did wrong as far as like your divine accountability to like your life and your situation. I didn't even know that damn camera was over. <coughs> fuck with your feminine should definitely lead you in the right direction. If not, fuck with your feminine side. How you get in tune with your feminine side. Your feminine side. Just get in tune with some feminine shit. Not gay shit. Feminine. It's a big difference between feminine and gay. Okay, and gay, that's going all out with the shit. <laughs> I'm sure that's the way to access your feminine side, but I mean, it's a big difference. It ain't got shit to do with sexuality. It ain't got shit to do with the physical when we say tap into your fucking feminine side. This could be doing shit that you normally don't do. You normally don't cry, nigga. Cry. You normally don't talk, nigga. Talk. You normally don't be in your feelings. Be in your feels one, two, three times. I mean, you usually don't, I don't know, get your girl off when y'all fucking and shit. Get her ass off now. Like, focus on just getting her off and not even you busting nuts and shit. I remember I was on that at like in my 20s. It's like, nah, 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 baby. It's about you. You feel what I'm saying? I'll make sure you straight a couple times before I even get me right. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Because it ain't about me, baby. <laughs> it ain't about me. Just step into my feminine side real quick. I step into your feminine side, really catering to the female. 
You a dad. You don't, I don't change diapers. I don't do that shit. All right, we'll change diapers. We fuck with the kids now. Switch roles on some Usher, baby. Trade places. Oh, gangster, nigga. And watch how that shit gonna help your life. You know what I'm saying? That's feminine energy. You ain't gotta go out here and suck a dick to see what a bitch feel like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gotta do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just just tap into your feminine energy, dude. Fuck with your mama. It's like your mom's elderly. She's old. Okay, go do her hair. You'll figure. You'll learn real quick. I right, do your mama hair. Curl that bitch. Put a, put a, put, a, put a curl in. Put a shell in. <laughs> Ray that nappy shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like playing her hair. Play your girl hair. Play your daughter hair. You know what I'm saying? Go get some fucking flowers and shit. Nigga, learn how to dance. Do some goofy. Nigga, learn how to read poetry. Hit your bitch with some poetry or something. Nigga, femininity, man. Just dip into it. Because all it's going to do is change your motherfucking life. In a way, it need to get changed right now. Oh, and by you stepping into your feminine energy, masculine, we're going to get to you, like, consciously, direct. When it comes to this feminine energy, feminine energy, it'll help you stop being so fucking karmic out here. Told you, you a divine masculine, you the one. What does the one mean? It means masculine, you the only one in a divine feminine's life. You the only one in a divine feminine's life who can do half the karmic shit that you do and get away with. I don't fuck with karmics. If I know you a karmic, I will distance myself. How do I know if you're karmic or not? I'm telling you, it's your life and how you move in. You don't have a stable home. You a car cracking, scamming ass motherfucker. Showing money online, staying in different place to place like you got it. When I know how you really living out here. I don't call people like that friends. I don't even want you as a friend. Fed's gonna get to you eventually. I don't even want them niggas facilitating you with me. I don't even want you close enough to use my information to do some shit. That's karmic. We all got friends like them. Family like them. Family can be karmic too. Oh, you ain't got no pure divine bloodline, motherfucker. Ha! <laughs> you might be the only divine person in your family. The only beam of light in your whole little radius over there. You know what I'm saying? That's karmic shit. You out here trying to find the one, trying to find true love. But your drunk ass, broke ass, man to man, slut ass friend is trying to give you advice. What is you even hanging with a person like her for? Stability. You stable, find a stable friend. You got a business and company, find a friend with a business and companies and shit. Because most likely they probably divine like you. Because I don't fuck with nobody that don't fuck with God. Or at least a Trinity mindset. You can't be my friend. You can't. You can't be in my space. You a karmic? No. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? This just doesn't make sense. You're not my enemy. Okay. You're just in tune with something else that I'm not in tune with. I'm only in tune with the Most High. If you ain't in tune with that, I can't be in tune with you. All shit you grasping. Masculine, you be you act karmic as fuck. The reason why you act karmic as fuck is because you be around karmics all day. It's because you treat karmics like everybody else. You treat a divine just like a karmic. Because in your head, everybody the same. When you say everybody the same, all women the same, the world is the same, God handles everybody the same. When you hit people with that same bullshit, that's the 70% you talking about. The K for karmics. Divines don't be in karmic realms. That's why they, that's why divines don't know what the fuck you be talking about with this day shit. Told me saying that shit all the time. Day. Them. Them, them friends you be hanging with. Who's that, nigga? I don't fuck with nobody. You was my best fucking friend. You don't even fuck with me, nigga. Like, I don't. Who are these people you talking about? You talking about karmics? Yo, peeps? Nah, I'm not karmic to where I need friends or I need attention or I need shit like. The shit karmic people be needing out here, man. It's a big difference between the karmic and the vine. And you can tell by their life. You know what I'm saying? And the things in it.
And they mentality and shit like that. Last night, you be acting karmic as fuck. But luckily, you the, you your divine feminine's twin because you're the only person she'll have in her circle that acts the way you act. Five of Cups. This is a loneliness card. This is emotional isolation. Another thing to help your karmic ass behavior, activities, attitude is to be by your fucking self. Once again, big difference between a divine and a karmic, a divine on mind being alone. We ain't talking about these bitter ass people who just automatically say they're going to be alone and they spoke it into existence because they feeling like shit and they make sure that that's what's going to happen. We're not talking pride or ego here. Alone. Example, you got moi. I'm telling you, I'm alone like a motherfucker. It ain't bad. You know what I mean? All it does is help me tap into my own potential, my own power. You know what I mean? It makes me go harder. It makes me really accelerate on a level that I wouldn't accelerate if I was spreading myself too thin with too many other agendas on my plate other than the only agenda that I have. And that's purpose. And it's over person. It's purpose over person with me. That's why I'm alone. And I'm not alone like wearing it like a badge of honor. I'm trying to not be alone, but I'm starting to see a divine a divine life is lonely. Why? The five of cups energy, which you're going to learn being in. Masculine. Four of cups is the world. You in the world by yourself. Taking care of yourself in the world. By yourself. Taking care of yourself. The world it's three-dimensional or 2D. We're going to put it here. This is 3D. We're just going to use the two-dimensional. Two-dimensional example to describe the 3D. Guess what? We can. <laughs> we can do that. This is the world on my hand. Karmics stay in this world. They don't ascend. Like, this is the world too. So even if they got off here, okay, like I said, you can go up down, left, right, you still in the third dimension. That's the world. What you got to do is ascend. Get past it. So when you get in the fourth or fifth dimension, <laughs> it's a lonely realm. Why? Because only 28% of divines dwell there. It's like the, the dark ocean. It's a lot more fish in the sea with the sunlight can hit and you see all this lush you know, wildlife and flora and coral and shit. It's beautiful. But go down to the deep. And this sense is flipped. The deeper you go, really, the higher we going up. Ain't too many, ain't too many. Fuck that. That's the infinite. We know more about the moon than we do our own fucking ocean. Okay? Going down to these dark ass places in the motherfucking ocean, that's kind of like the infinite. Because we don't know what to expect. It's a whole new world like Aladdin. Everything looks different. It's dark. The creatures look scarier. They look like fucking aliens. It looks like we in our space, not on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what happens when you take yourself away from the world. You know what I mean? The fishes in the bottom of the ocean move a lot different than the fishes up top. Survival is more important down here. Mating is more important down here. Survival is kind of like, it ain't really a sense of survival. Nigga, there's no light. There's no sense of time down here. Like, it could seem like infinity down here. You don't get to see the sun and, and all type of shit is going on. I'm saying all that shit to say is like, <laughs> when you ascend, you see what the world really is. What the world really looks like. What's really in it. Okay, and that's what separates you away from the rest of the world too. When you see how you're different from the rest of the karmics, when you see how you don't move like karmics, like you do karmic shit, but you start to see you are divine. You've been in karmic situations, you've been fucked up, you've done a lot of shit that you regret. You know what I mean? You feel a lot of guilt and all kind of shit from it all the motherfucking time. But it's like at the end of the day, you start to see what you are not, and that's a karma. The more you see how you're not a karmic, the more you see your feminine was totally divine this whole time. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to use that awareness to carry yourself on to yourself. Now, you, as far as your mystery madness or your subconscious in regards to yourself personally right now, you subconsciously aligning yourself in the right path. 
through wands. Told you. Actions. That's how you get shit done. What's a wand? That's action, behavior, shit you doing, shit you've done, not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Through a series of divine actions. We are the knights, queens, kings, and things. Those are divine cycles. You got karmic cycles, ace to ten, divine cycles, knights, queens, kings, and things. You're finally moving on the right path due to a change of some behavior and through some awareness. I just picked that awareness. Like I said, you're getting on the path. This is moving fast and furiously in your divine direction. Knight of Wands, this is you in regard to yourself. You, 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 you're moving forward in your divine territory because of awareness. Ace of Wands is awareness. But this is also the first step or the first action or the first move past having awareness. All it takes is awareness. Shit that your feminine has. The shit that you can get from God. Shit that you can get from the world. A for anything you want to know. Or be aware of this freaking planet. You can get aware of it. You can know how the planet was made. You can know where heaven is. You can know the rules that apply. Not only in this fucking earthly realm. But that applies in the divine realms. Like you'll learn about divine law. You'll learn about the secrets of the universe. You'll learn about the secrets of the earth. You'll learn about like who runs the fucking world and shit like that. Like you'll learn that Satan was from the devil or three different people from three different places with three different fucking agendas. You'll learn what those agendas are. You'll learn who you are. You'll learn who God is. You'll learn who your twin actually is. You'll learn exactly what the twin flame demo is. You'll learn exactly what's going to happen after this earthly time is passed with y'all. And what the fuck y'all gonna be expecting next? Like, you can learn about your past life, who the fuck you was before you was this person. Like, anything you wanna know, you can A for attain or acquire it through awareness. Knowledge is power. That's the difference between a karmic and a divine. Step your shit up. Because you personally, in regards to yourself, you saucy as fuck right now. Just just having a smile on your face you can't get rid of because something is just very entertaining to you right now. What is, what is that? Nine of Pentacles. You seeing shit is lining the fuck up. It's almost like you had a dream or vision about what this Ten of Pentacles is. That's manifesting something that you wanted. Why you feel like you know you had a Five of Pentacles when you really had a Ten of Pentacles? And really explanation of why this devil is always around. See, like I said, the devil, in your case, is Agent Smith. You Neo. That's why I'm asking. You start to see. It's like the devil made his, the devil made himself president. Agent Smith made himself president in your reading. And you just seeing from this bottom line exactly how, this, how the game go. But the score is, this is what the fuck the devil been doing to you your whole fucking life. You have everything that you needed in life and the devil kind of convinced you that you didn't have anything. And you put some actions and some behavior and some movements in to kind of tear you away from what really happened. Like, you've been fooled. You've been bamboozled. Like, you've been fucking bamboozled this whole motherfucking time. Like I said, it's an eight of swords, a, a tough opposed prison, a long-standing belief and your life is going to get eradicated. You know, you had a false sense of entitlement or a false sense of awareness that you just didn't have, that you have now. Thus, you're able to break free. You was in a prison. How you get in prison? You get groomed for prison. Before you get to them cell doors in prison, you get groomed to be there. Nigga, through fashion. You a baby and shit. Your daddy a gangster. This nigga sagging and jaws hanging Gang banging, you see all this shit, and it just make you want to do it. See, I, I, I gang bang, and I do my motherfucking thing. My pops was locked up my whole life. He didn't get out until I was 25. So, so this gangster shit, I got it too on my own. It ain't like I looked at a nigga and wanted to be this nigga. I just wanted to be the nigga. Came from a single mother household, nigga. Wasn't no men around showing me how to be men, nigga. I had to figure it out myself, nigga. <laughs> it's a big difference, okay? Doing shit because you want to do it and doing shit because you think you need to do it. It's a big difference. What the fuck is asking me, okay, well, why you smoke weed? Like, is that because you want to follow people or you want to do what everybody else is doing? It was like, no, nigga. I smelt it and that shit kind of smelled exotic, nigga. It's more like some shit I ain't never smelt before. 
You know what I mean? And you know, it ain't crack or none of this other crazy shit my uncles and cousins be on that fucking they life up. So yeah, let me try that shit. Let me see what's up with that. I was like 12 years old and like, boom. He kind of brought me a lot of awareness that I kind of needed for stages that was to come. <laughs> like I just find highly strange. Like, I don't know, two weeks after I smoked weed for the first time, I got some A for ass for the first time. Beat it up. Knew what to do. Knew how to knew what to do with it and everything. I was high when it happened. Fuck you mean? I was blowing the film, getting that coup. Oh. Nope. It was whack. It was quick. <laughs> but I got them drums on. Like, hey, awareness. You learn by doing. If you ain't doing shit, you ain't gonna learn nothing. I'm saying that shit two times. If you ain't doing shit, you ain't gonna learn nothing. Mask when you start to do. And the reason why you start to do things is because, like I said, you're just trying to free yourself out of the self-imposed prison you in that you've been in. And that's gonna happen. Um, you saucy as hell. Things are lining up in your life. You 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 start to notice that you are going back to that ten, or you've been at that ten. But what's the ten of Pentacles too? That's you and another person coming together like butt cheeks. This is a person, place, or thing that's gonna come in your life. That's gonna change your life. And it ain't this devil. <laughs> this devil been sending you off this whole motherfucking time. A person, place, or thing that's gonna come in your life. Your queen of wands. And everything's gonna make sense. Shit is gonna line the fuck up. Six of cups. Who is that? The sauce maker. Who's the sauce maker? Your divine feminine. It's what brought you to this whole demo. The sauce is what brought you here. The sauce, the divine feminine sauce, is the main reason you even started this demo to begin with. If you didn't follow that sauce, if you wasn't if you didn't get that first hit of your divine feminine, nigga, <laughs> if you wasn't exposed to the sauce, you wouldn't. Be in the position that you are in life. You are in a better position now in your life than you've ever been. You might not see it like that, but that's facts. We talk about overall. You might have had more money back in the day. You might have had more pinnacles back in the day. You might have had a lot more dick riding ass friends. You might have had a lot more beautiful people you was fucking with back then, but the difference between then and now, you got your mind right. <laughs> That's first off, you got your mind right. You ain't bamboozled by the bullshit you was bamboozled back then. That's how you lost everything, because you didn't have the motherfucking mind frame you had then that. Emotions, you finally stepping into your emotions and shit, which you never did, ever. You overflowing with emotions. Your heart is very ripe from you being in it. And going and having energy bursts and heart chakra openings and shit. Like, your heart... I'm saying, nigga, your divine feminine. This stuff, if y'all ain't figured that shit out, that's the reason for these twin flame demos. Okay? It's like your fucking Play Doh, these twin flame demonstrations mold you into the fucking person that you are. These twin flame demonstrations help you. Even if you don't have your twin, it's built to help you. This shit ain't no movie. This ain't no fucking Disney movie. Just because you and your masculine are paired, or masculine, you and your feminine are paired, don't mean that y'all supposed to be together in like a physical, unless you want to, a physical way, or a Disney movie, unless you don't, unless you want to make it a, a Disney movie. If you want a Disney relationship with your twin, you make it a Disney relationship with your twin. If you want a sexual relationship with your twin, you make it a sexual relationship with your twin. Masculine, because it's about what you want too. <laughs> It's what you make it. You can't sit here and say, uh, you have no say so in your twin flame situation when you can create it. You can't sit here and say that this ain't beneficial when this has been the most official shit you ever been in in your motherfucking life. It's too much growth. It's too much emotional growth, mental growth, spiritual growth, physical growth. You look like a totally different person. Masculine from how the fuck you was when you first got in the picture. Change your whole life changed right in front of your eyes, and you start to see all of it. Final row, future row, wrapping this up. Masculine going to the future. You got the four of swords. This is an idle mind. Subconsciously, it's like you and idle mind, your brain idle. And usually, when you an idle mind, it's gonna be the devil workshop. That's the reason why the devil came out here anyway. It's the devil's doorway. 
You've been in a situation before where you've been looking at the devil's doorway, knowing this is the way the devil been getting in, and you know you're gonna have to motherfucking put some focus on that. Four of swords is in your head. Five of swords is getting the fuck out your head and focusing. If you ain't in your head, that means you focused. If you in your head, you ain't focusing. But it ain't about being in your head and focusing and shit. You need to do some actions. There's some actions you need to do in regards to this doorway. It's a mental doorway. That's how the devil get in. That's how depression get on you. That's how suicidal shit get in you. It starts through your mind first. Then your ass, you personally, not what somebody said, not what somebody did, none of that shit. All this shit is on you. If ain't nobody let you know, I'm a hippie. When depression get on you, when suicidal feelings get on you, when dark ass feelings hit on you, they get in your head first. They get in your head first. Now, before you start feeling anything about this shit, it got in your head first. You might want to start with the, with the sword. You might want to start with your head. It's the first shit. Get your mind right. Soon the feelings come on you, get your mind right. Soon you mentally, because it come here, man. Get it right so it don't spread like a virus through your whole fucking body. Because soon what's ever in your mind, get in your fucking heart, that's when the machine starts. What you think about, you bring about. There's two more steps after you feel something. You're going to make something happen. Before you feel anything for it, you better make sure you, what you, do. you better make sure you know, know what the fuck you feeling. What are swords? Thoughts, decisions, direction, mentality, ideology. You gotta know where you're gonna go with shit. That's number one. Number two, you gotta, you gotta get out this low ass energy. Five of Wands, that's outside conflict. That shit that don't involve you that you can make about yourself. But why? Why waste time, energy, and resources on shit that ain't even in what you gotta deal with right now? You already got something you're dealing with right now, and that's yourself. So before you hop into other people's problems, before you try to fuck with another person or build with another person or live with another person, like get yourself straight. You'd be too in your head too much. And it comes from idle time and it comes from not doing shit. But you're the king of masculine. So you're all, I mean, you're the king of wands, excuse me, divine masculine. So you're always doing shit. The fact that you're the king of wands and you be in your mind a lot says a lot about your mental state. Shows me you really trying to figure shit out in life. It's just the avenues that you head, the methods that you go, the way and the nature that you move with people kind of gets you all tangled up and kind of gets you kind of blocked from the, the, the real picture here. Which goes to the final card in your message. We got the three of cups. Distraction. What's a distraction? That's something being in your way. You're supposed to be getting in tune with your divine feminine, but yet you've allowed a lot of outside influences get in the way of you and your twin. You've let relationships get in the way of you and your twin. Family get in the way of you and your twin. Career get in the way of you and your twin. Survival. Um, nigga, you put so much shit in front of this beam right here. You know? At the end of the day, feminine ain't going no fucking where. You can put as much shit in front of her at the end of the day. But you still gonna have to get in tune. Three of Pentacles. This is a bridge. This is you and another person doing some shit. Before you started putting all these cups in front of your feminine, you still got some shit to do with her. Or him. He could be a she, she could be a he, now we rocking. It'd be best to do that, to handle that business. Because guess what? You got another motherfucker in your face. <laughs> so, it'd be best for you to do what you gotta do with your feminist so you can hurry up and do what the fuck you gotta do with this person or hurry up and do what the fuck you gotta do with this person so you can get back to your job because it's a lot of work to be done. Then we got three red cards, which is another warning. You got a warning ending your, your reading, man. when it going to the future. You're gonna have to reread. R-E-R-E. R -E -R -E. Rearrange some shit, reorder something, reverse something, renege on something, release someone, relocate somewhere. Because the, the, I said the shit last week, the people you got in your life, the people you got in your life, the things you got in your life and the place where you at in life right now needs to change. You got seven re-reads to do. R 
E something. You're going to have to do that about seven times. Because if you don't get the rearranging your pinnacles in life, it looks like you're going to get stuck right where you at. What you felt like you've been at this whole time and what you haven't. What you feel you've been at this whole time and what you haven't. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Hope I can help anybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, just shout me a holler, done. Deuces.